last year. Slow and low. I think. Well, we check. We were looking at the scoreboard. We thought that was going to make it ball three. Beckett seems a little confused. Wait a minute. I think the plate umpire might have uh, gotten his indicator mixed. I think that's only. I believe it's only three and two. Yeah. It happens once in a while. They have an indicator. Every now and then the plate umpire will either forget to turn the wheel or turn it inadvertently. They're going to check I believe the videotape. It should be three balls and two strikes. I'll always remember. An umpire named Tony Venzen. Now all umpires are asked to carry the indicator in their left hand. See that? Always keep it in your left hand because you're going to raise it to make sure you're keeping track of the count. Tony Venzen kept the indicator in his right hand. And every time Tony would raise to look, I would think it's a strike. And I was really embarrassed. I wasn't trying to give the plate umpire a bad time at all. But every time he brought that right hand up, I thought it was a strike. So after the game, I thought I'd best go down and meet that umpire and apologize. So I went down and I saw Tony Venzen and I said, Mr. Venzen, uh, it was awfully difficult for me. I've always been told the plate umpire carries the indicator in his left hand. But you carry yours in your right hand. And he said, well, young man, let me tell you, I wish I could use my left hand. And then he showed me his left hand. No thumb. He had lost the thumb in a commercial accident. So Tony Venzen had to use the right hand. And boy, that was confusing. Tony Venzen umpired back in 1957 till 1971. Very nice man, but no thumb on his left hand. But I think Hanley might have just forgotten it because we had it two and two on ball three. The scoreboard had it two and two on ball three. So we wait and see. They're looking back at the pitches. We can uh, we can show the pitches just to keep you in track. Here's the first one. That's a strike. 0 and 1. Fouled away. 0 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 2 and 2. Foul ball. Still 2 and 2. 3 and 2. Yes, you better come back. So Robin Ventura now is going to come out and say to Kerwin Danley, what's up on the count? And all Kerwin can really do is say, hey, I carried the indicator in my left hand and somehow or other, I just lost the count. Three and two. Check swing fouls, pitches in the dirt. So Adam Dunn will come back and bat, and we'll see just what that means. I mean, you're giving a big hitter another pitch after the pitcher's rhythm has been broken it's not that it's three and two that wouldn't bother Dunn. but I'm sure for Ventura he's thinking that's great you guys take a big huddle what about a timeout well Well there are runners at second and third remember on what they thought was ball four that sent Abreu to second base. So now Ventura is saying now wait a minute you mean I lose my runner at second base just because you messed up the count. I mean you could easily say well Abreu got a stolen base and I'm sure that's what Ventura is talking about. They're going to send Abreu back to first, and that really ticks Robin off. All right, Abreu goes back to first. Ventura loses that one. First and third, one out. And now Adam Dunn ready to check in. Duchera looks over to the bench and says, All right, what do we do three and two with this guy? 